All right, today's video is going to be covering the topic that was brought in by a question from one of our uh, YouTube viewers. They wanted to know how to create text along a contour and how that block would be would be created. So I thought what we do is we just get some text, put it on an arc real quick, go through some of the settings that are in the uh, the text along contour blocks and uh, kind of answer some of that question for that user as well as maybe anyone else who might want to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new program here real quick. So under our milling, so if I go to input, part programming, milling, I can go to more and we see lettering. Underneath lettering, we have several things. We can do stick lettering or true type font, which are just straight letters that will be done in a in a, just a, a one line fashion, or we can do true type or stick letters along a contour. We're going to use lines and arcs to create a contour. In our case, it's just going to be an arc, and the letters will be placed along that arc. I'm just going to do some simple stick letters along a contour. The first thing that we're asked is how do we want to size the, uh, the text itself? Do we want it to go from the beginning to the end of the contour that we create? Or do we want to create a specific length within that arc that we want the letters to uh, to adhere to? I'm gonna I'm gonna start out with the contour length, use the contour, and then I'll change it so you can see what that looks like. Next, what is the text height? We're gonna do a quarter inch high, and I'm gonna put 20 thou spacing between each one of the letters. I'm just gonna put Herco. Herco Winmax. So enter the text or whatever it is that you want to be. Um, better put an R in Herco. So whatever text you want, put it in the text line and hit enter. We're going to have a Z start of 0.1. Let's go down 10 thou. Um, I'm going to use a center drill for the engraving just because I don't have a center drill or a great engraving tool set up and center drills work really well if you don't have an engraving tool. So that's all the information that we have on the main screen that comes in under stick lettering along a contour. You notice on the soft keys over here, our F7 down here says edit along contour. I'm going to click on that and this is where I'm going to describe or program the contour that these letters will be placed along. First of all, font, the font side of the contour will be on the left side or the right side. This is just like cutter comp. If I go clockwise on this arc and I select left, it would be on the top. If I went clockwise, selected right, it would be on the bottom of the arc. So we're going to put it on the top. I'm going to offset 50 thousandths above or below that arc. So when I create the arc, it's going to place the letters above or below it by whatever value I put in this field here. And now I'm going to just begin describing or programming the contour. I'm going to just start at uh, minus three inches, a Y of zero. Next segment is going to be an arc. It's going to be a clockwise arc. And I'm just going to sweep 180 degrees from there. So I'm going to go to a positive three inches, Y of zero. And my center point is going to be zero, zero. So here we have our radius of three inches, 180 degree sweep angle. If I go draw this now, I'm going to do this in wireframe. You'll see that we have Herco Winmax stretched to fit along that contour that we created. It started at the end, at the beginning of it, and it went all the way to the end of it. If I were to go back to this block, select F7 again to edit the letter parameters, I can now go to specify a width, Let's maybe put six inches in there, and this will now place the letters along that contour, but it will keep them within that six inch length. So that's how we can control how the letters look and how they're spaced or placed. If I go back one more time and I change this character, um, I'm sorry, go to edit contour, if I change the 
on segment zero, this text offset, I'm gonna make it to something incredibly large, like one inch. And you can see how this works. But now we have the letters, they're being held off of the profile that I created by the distance in that particular parameter. So hopefully this explains a little bit more about the letter or text along a contour. Uh, again, you can draw any contour that you would like, any shape that you need, and then use these parameters to adjust how those letters are placed along there, the spacing and so forth.